Hello everybody and today we're going to learn about the linear search. It's unit 3 lesson 4 and we're actually just going to add some terminology to our knowledge base. So we're going to see what is a linear search and we're going to have a look at the linear search algorithm. If we go to tutorials point they've got a whole section um, dedicated to data structures. So this is the home of that section. Um, they've got some introduction over here. As beginners, um, some of this might be a little bit advanced for you. I want to have a look at just something that they say about algorithms. Um, so whenever we have a look at an algorithm, so the steps to follow, it's got to be unambiguous. So that really means it must be clear to understand. You mustn't read a step and wonder, um, what's happening here? So everybody must understand each step of the algorithm very definitely. Sometimes it would have input and other times no input at all, zero or more. Output, an algorithm would always have at least one result, one thing that it's got to accomplish. Finiteness means it must stop, terminate. So I can't keep on with the loop forever, then the program is not going to work. My data, if I didn't find it, the loop must stop. And for us with the arrays, the loop will stop at the end of my data that's saved. It's got to be feasible, so I've got to be within my available resources, be able to do this um, algorithm, and it's got to be independent, independent of any programming language. So I've got to say what I need to happen, and the specific programming language that we choose will only come later. For now you guys are using VP but in a later scenario you very often go right the steps and then depending on what we need to do and how we need to do it you pick the the programming language to accomplish the things in. They do um, explain the array data structure again. Now this uh, website uses the C language as a basis for all their examples. So some of the code might be a little bit different to what you used to, but it's really not that diff 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 different. Index starts at zero, the length would be 10 for this array, index range 0 to 9. So over here the int in front is same as dim array as integer. Hey? And here they specify the size. So we'd be able to read the code when they've given it to us. Basic operations on an array. I need to be able to traverse the array. Let's say print all the elements one by one. I need to add an element and we're only adding them at the end of our data always. I need to be able to update and search. We're not doing deletion with beginners. Okay. And our insertion would only be right at the end of our data range currently. But you can go read through the rest of what they say regarding arrays. I'd like you to skip linked lists, stacks and queues, and all those things for now. We need to have a look at the linear search. And the linear search, real nice and easy. Over here they are demonstrating to us that they are looking for 33. And guess what's happening? 
we are traversing the array looking for the number. If we get to the end of the array, let's say we had to look for 30 and no data is found, then we know uh, there's no data in the array. In this specific instance the data is sorted but we're normally going to work with arrays where the data is not sorted. Okay? And guess what? You guys actually know the linear search real, real well. Because this is exactly the algorithm that I've shown you previously. So normally when we do a linear search we assume that no data is found we assign something like minus one to position then the, we traverse the array from the start to the end we test whether the data array in the array matches the value that we need to find if we do find it we store the position and after the array we know if we compare position to minus one whether the data was found or not. So without me giving you the technical details I've already shown you the linear search algorithm. You just need to know oh boy I now know what is a linear search. It's when I'm searching for the data from the start to the end of the array. Next video, we're going to have a look at a little bit more complicated um, algorithm. We're going to learn how to sort the array. Take note that there are different search algorithms. For beginners, we're only really going to have a look at the linear search. We're not going to worry about any other searching techniques. And again, with sorting, we are going to only use one sorting algorithm with beginners. Thank you.